With our first day underway, day one had some lofty goals. We spent the better part of the morning leveling the trailer on uneven ground, which posed so many different difficulties, but we got through it. Using jacks, one on each corner, we eventually got the entire bed leveled. The next task on hand was removing unwanted metal equipment off of the trailer. We will be putting our main support structure on the C-beam, which needs to be flat and level. We're now moving on to the subfloor framework. Using 2x6x10s, we sandwich the boards together, placing one underneath the C-beam and one being flush to tack into. The joists were then installed 16 inches on center. The next step will be securing the framework to the trailer with carriage bolts and insulating the subfloor. Using a hammer drill, I am drilling into the side of the trailer where our six inch carriage bolts will then secure the frame to the trailer itself. Here you can see our carriage bolts inserted through the C-beam and the subfloor framework. We decided to secure the bolts on the inside of the trailer for added security. We secured the subfloor framework with six inch carriage bolts about every two feet on the trailer. I then went ahead and sealed in with spray foam any gaps or cracks left. We decided to use R30 attic insulation. Using a combination of liquid nails and framing nails, we safely and securely fastened our plywood onto our subfloor framework. We also went ahead and put lag bolts through the C-beam and the plywood into our subfloor framework for added security and protection. Thanks for coming along with us. Don't forget to like our Facebook page, Far Out Family Tiny Home on Wheels.